Hello friends and welcome to Techie Jack. In our previous video we have seen how we can take a backup of our exchange server and now in this video we will see how we can restore from the backup in case something goes wrong. So let's go to our server and see how we can restore from the backup. We are on our exchange server now and before recovering the data let me show you this is a data drive and this is a log file drive they both has been backed up to the volume E and we have a successful backup for uh, 19th and uh, today the date is 19 so we have a successful backup and no email has been sent and received after this backup so let me show you if we are able to log into our mailbox right now or not I am trying to log into a user like it's a Ronnie and we are successfully able to log into our mailbox for Ronnie. So let's do one thing. Let's try to delete the mailbox now. In order to delete the mailbox, I will just dismount the database and will delete the complete EDB files. Databases. Let me dismount the database. I will dismount this. Now the database has been dismounted and let me see we have a MBDB EDB and let's see the properties of this. This is 247 MB. What I will do, I'll make a copy of this one and I'll paste it in a desktop and let's try to delete this. Now our mailbox our database has been deleted and you take an example like you lost the database now and you lost the log files even. So there can be a different scenario for restoring exchange uh, data because if you lost a single mailbox there is a, another way you have a different way for the file level recovery or application level recovery. In this scenario we are just considering that we lost a complete database or drive. So now let's try to see if now the database will not be able to mount it like we we don't have any database there so if I log out and try to sign in again it says something went wrong like now will not be able to log into the mailbox so all the users mailbox uh, lies in that database will not be able to log into their mailboxes I'm trying to re-log in again on the same user and now there is no database in the place so let's see if we it allow us to log in or not so there is something went wrong so in this scenario for example you lost the database I copied it here but for example you lost it and you have a latest backup what you can do you can restore it from the backup so let's try to recover it and we will select the this server click on next and select the latest uh, latest date. And one more thing if the email has been sent and received after the backup those email will be lost so it is recovery where you can restore up to the last backup state you may lose uh, some items like there will be a minimum loss but it is better to have more than something instead of nothing so click on next and here we will select the volume so we want to recover both volume like our data and log file volume. So we will select data and log both data and log. And we will click on next. We want to continue with the recovery operation. Yes. So click on recover now. The recovery is in progress it will try to recover the complete volume and this can be a suitable scenario for where you have only a one exchange server and you you figure out the failure in a time like you lost the database and you want a quick recovery still you may lose some of emails but not all you will be restored to the last backup state and in our and how to recover a single mailbox or accidentally deleted mailbox we will see in our future videos how we can recover a single mailbox or accidental deleted mailbox from exchange server. You have to decide like which uh, recovery option is best for you. 
and you have to plan that option accordingly. If you have a single server in a virtual machine, uh, you should replicate your virtual machine with another Hyper-V host to make it highly available. And now the recovery is successfully done. And let's see if we have our data there or not, like our EDB files are back there or not. We have our ADB files back and let's see the properties of ADB files that is 247 MB and the same I copied here is also a 247 MB. So now the backup restore process has been done. So let's try to mount our database again and I'll try to mount it again. Now the database has been mounted successfully and let's go to this once again. I'll refresh the page. Now it finds the database and we are able to log in. So you are you will not lost the email if no email has been sent or received after a full backup but if emails uh, has been floated after a backup you may lose some emails in this scenario. But again, there is better to have something or more than something instead of nothing. So now we have successfully recovered our mailbox. Now all the mailboxes in that databases will be able to log into their mailboxes. So I hope you got the point how you can recover your exchange database. So in our next video, we will see how we can uh, recover accidentally deleted or deleted mailbox or uh, if we delete a user from Active Directory how we can recover that mailboxes for those users. Guys if you like the video please do subscribe the channel for more upcoming updates and let's meet in the next video.